We are all made by something. The people, places, and our passions in life help shape us into who we are today. Even if who we are today happens to be one of the world's greatest tennis players. Belgrade, as many cities around Serbia, has suffered a lot because of war. Many people have had a, the doubts of what tomorrow brings. So I was very lucky and fortunate to have three tennis courts being built. And I watched Sampras play for his first Wimbledon title. That's when I decided to dream big and dream about being one day on the centre court of Wimbledon and holding that trophy. I first met Jelena Gencic, one of the best tennis coaches in the whole ex-Yugoslavian region, when I was five years old. She arrived with the tennis camp from Belgrade. Jelena seen me and uh, asked my parents if I would like to come to the court and start playing tennis. Not long after, I spoke to my parents and she said, I have a golden child with me that I have seen once before in my life with Monica Selesh and I'm quite certain that he's going to be a tennis champion. As I started to grow and develop myself into a more professional tennis player, I had more support of the country, of the, of the club where I was growing up in. He's got it. Djokovic is the Australian Open champion. After winning the first Grand Slam in Australian Open in 2008, the whole world just changed for me. Everything led to winning Wimbledon. And there it was, all the family and all the closest people I had present on the centre court. And after the match point, by the time that I hit the grass, I was six years old again. At this time I was holding the real trophy, my dream. Yelena, who had the knowledge and the eye and who understood the will to become a champion and that she was so certain about me becoming a, a champion one day that it, it felt that trophy is not my trophy, it's our trophy. Novak Djokovic, birthed from Serbia, shaped by Yelena, inspired by dreams, made by determination. Jacob's Creek, made true.